The Forest Service goal is to protect both the cultural and natural resources. So we are trying to do things that both protect the watershed as well as help manage recreation and guide it to be compatible with the resource. So the Oak Creek Watershed Project has been in the planning phase for a while. We spoke with our key stakeholders to say, what can we do to better the resource here in Oak Creek Canyon? For a project of the scale, um, it can't be one entity working towards these goals. It needs to be multiple people. Um, we all have different tools to bring to the table and different skill sets. Um, and so with this project, it's been very valuable. To be able to come into this partnership and really help uh, enhance and, and conserve these, these areas for both the, the environment and the, the people who live here, the people who visit here. Oak Creek is such an iconic place in Arizona. This uh, social trail rehabilitation project uh, uh, fit well with our objectives in working here in Oak Creek Canyon. We believe that we could achieve some meaningful uh, water quality improvements by working with the forest and a number of other partners to uh, rehabilitate these trails. Well, anytime that you can bring together multiple entities with this common goal, it's very important and very beneficial. All along Oak Creek, which is a perennial water and very important to our ecosystem. It supports many different um, animals and riparian areas that could not exist other places in Arizona. Through COVID, it became very apparent there were many more people were visiting the forest. We do want visitors to come. We want to guide them on how to do the best stewardship and to leave no trace while they're here on the ground. And with that many different types of visitors coming, they usually have different backgrounds and comfort levels and experiences with recreating and they might not be aware of how they can have a negative impact on the riparian ecosystem by leaving litter behind. And more visitors certain, certainly bring in more byproduct. Uh, more byproduct brings in more scat, more animal material, uh, which in turn, it does increase E. coli loading in the creek. We hope to see less trash in the areas that um, are, are being restored. We hope to see folks over time really using these sustainable trails and not trampling around the restored areas. ADEQ's interest and goal is to focus on making watershed improvements that ultimately will lead to delisting Oak Creek from the impaired waters list. Watershed Council is also working with ADEQ and other partners to monitor water quality, hopefully um, help mitigate fecal contamination in the future. We need those resources to be in a healthy condition in part so that when you as a person enter into the forest, it you have a positive experience with that. My son said it's a beautiful drive and a beautiful scenery. I love to fish, hike and explore, so that's what I'm doing here. Resource use and recreation use is always a challenge, especially here on this highly visited national forest that we're on. But in this case, we involved our partners at the beginning, the middle, and the end of signing our decision in this Oak Creek Watershed Project. And it was essential to allowing us to get the work done on the ground, which we're doing right now. Flexibility is always key. You know, I think especially for this project starting last year in, in COVID times and wondering at the beginning of the year, will we even be able to get this project on the ground? The biggest thing has been the collaboration with ADQ and other entities to put in the barrier fence. The barrier fence, which is behind me, is 2,400 feet of six-foot fencing, looking to reduce E. coli loading, mitigate the social trails. And uh, the primary objective from our perspective is to help with public health and safety. We really work best through collaboration, and in, in some ways we, we can't work any other way. I found that there was a very cohesiveness that even though we each as individual groups had something 
different that we may have as part of our individual mission, that we were able to, to come together and overlap and agree on what was best for the resource and for the partnerships as a whole. I don't know that these things would have been accomplished without the partnerships and the collaboration that has occurred. It's a win-win in my opinion. We all benefit from a clean Oak Creek. And so we hope that with the proper education and signage and restoration projects, we're able to meet the needs of people who want to recreate on the creek while protecting it at the same time and that they understand how they fit into that part to protect the creek while enjoying it.